TFG, Two Fly Gang. What's going on with y'all? What's the word? What's up? In the back from TV. It's probably. It's probably. Uh, my name is Carol from F Block. Kenny G from the F. And uh, I'm Milo Savage. We're all from the F, man. Alright, so far in the basement TV, I've shot for Kells and Milo Savage. I haven't shot for Kenny and Ro, but y'all are in a lot of music videos. Yeah. People that know y'all probably know what y'all do or what y'all got going on, but the rest of the world that's watching the videos, they probably see y'all too in the videos. Right. But don't ever hear y'all. know You know how, like, you might see a Chief Key video before they start rapping Tato and all that was in the video yeah, all the time, so yeah. people just be wondering who they is. Y'all want to tell the world a little bit more about Kenny and Ro? Well, um, off back, man, I got hot shit coming, like. We don't need facts. Don't even think about it too too hard. Why he not shooting video? I got real hot shit coming. Whether it's features, singles, I'm finna just come out straight with it with a mixtape. Dropping straight a mixtape. I'm not even gonna drop a song a video. It's gonna be a mixtape first, then I'm dropping a video. What about you, Kenny? All right, with Kenny G. Kenny G. He more of a you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna pop out, more turn up type music. You feel me? I don't. I ain't really with the whole lyric list. I mean, I got bars. <laughs> I got bars. Don't get me wrong, no, but no, shit, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just here to turn the city up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Right after y'all hit some, some real heat, then y'all go back to the, the party jams. You feel me? That's me. Mm -hmm. What's T F G stand for again? Two uh, fly gang. Yeah, that's two fly gang. Uh, what y'all basically stand for? Pretty much. I mean, it's more than that. Like, that's basically our, our motive, what we live by. You know what I'm saying? Like, being the flyest people, but also being smart about how we move, like how we operate, we really move as like a unit. But, um, yeah, you know, we really don't move as like everybody else is trying yeah, to like. Pretty much, because we don't like, like I wouldn't say we don't gangbang or none of that, but we smarter than your most average gangbanger, I would say. Yeah, it ain't really, it's, it's more like a family though. Yeah, we're a family. family. Like everybody literally grew up, right. like somehow family would through marriage or either just, mm -hmm. you know, cousins through like uncle blood, a lot of different uncles, that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? And, Ten year niggas than that. If not, we ain't related. You right. know, we been homeboys ten year right. places. Exactly. So. And, and then, and then with before. TFG, we a different breed. All of us, literally. Yeah. He blood. I'm GD. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean. Yeah, that's that's a problem with everybody. They don't understand that shit. Don't mean nothing, bro. Like if you if you get money, you a real nigga. I don't care about none of that. Exactly. That's just childish. If we can come together and make some bread, then that's all that really matters. What's your guys' age range? The TFG. What age are you guys around? I'm twenty one. Everybody, everybody, twenty and up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm twenty one. I'm twenty one. But um, but right, the average sounds about twenty one. Yeah, everybody's twenty one. I'm twenty. Yeah. It's only literally like a couple cats. I think it's on like a one or two people. Shout out Lord Dash too, Lord Dash. Yeah, shout out Lord, 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 Lord Dash. And where are you guys originally from? So I'm from Brooklyn Park. They all from St. Paul. From Just Texas. for the rest of the world that doesn't know, Minnesota has the Twin Cities. It's Minneapolis and St. Paul. Yeah. You guys said St. Paul. You said I'm Brooklyn Center. Minneapolis area. And yeah. 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 So for everybody that doesn't know, Brooklyn Center is more of around the, um, the Minneapolis, North yeah. Minneapolis area. Yeah. What age were you guys when you guys got into music when you started doing music? Honestly, I started writing music when I was like maybe 11, but I didn't really like rap till I was like 14, 15. Yeah, I'm going to say rap. And these are like, the people who got me into rapping because I, yeah. I was like rapping one day. But I was like whisper rapping one day. They was like, no, I kicked that shit, kick that shit. I'm like, y'all for real? So I rap my shit. They was like, bro, that shit hot. And ever since I've been rolling with it, you know what I mean? But other than that. <laughs> These two niggas started it, the whole little woo. That's why they yeah. got more everything up. They, fact, they, they got everybody into, you know what I'm saying? They, I ain't going to say they. Yeah, they, they, they pretty much inspired the rest of the gang to... So to get out there. Yeah, honestly, to go get like, their music out to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because yeah. I ain't going to lie, like, I used to link. I used to link. With, I used to link with Kells all the time. We used to just let. Used to just match and smoke and shit. And I used to ask him like, "Who you want to listen to?" And first thing come to his mouth, me. me. I don't want to listen to nobody. That's that. We just we'd be smoking, listening to this nigga all the the whole yeah. time. And I I just got to think like, damn, bro. That's right. I want to listen to me now. I want to. I want to play my shit. And how did you guys get into it? Like, did you guys start with open mics? Did you guys buy your own oh, equipment? Man, I, I, I got studio this one. We really started off really like. Getting heard on, actually making music, like tracks around, I'm going to say like 2012, 2013. And we was recording on cell phones and a speaker. Most of them. And I promise you that. Most not even, I'm talking about in the basement, it's, it's people this much around us. We got to tell everybody to be quiet, put your phones on vibrate. Mm -hmm. So we can just 
keep going. And if you mess up, you gotta restart the whole thing. So we, yeah. that's how we really learned to just freestyle. Yeah, like, so. And then back then, the way we was doing it, there ain't no punching in. You gotta do it. If you mess thing. up, you gotta do it over and make sure you get it right. And so the funny part that is, helped a lot, about bro. the whole thing, like we used to be on SoundCloud mainly. Yeah, our cell phones, SoundCloud. our numbers is actually still pretty good. Too. We got like four, five k, yeah, three k every song on SoundCloud. You know what like, I mean? That's really how we got looked at. Really was just SoundCloud. Exactly. We got our views and shit. So like before you guys started shooting music videos, you guys uploaded music on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's sure. how we really got known is on SoundCloud. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. sadly to say, what everybody do is it was we was dissing motherfuckers. Yeah, but yeah, that happens a lot of minutes. Then we right. learned that that's sadly how we was getting our views up. Sadly. But at the same time, people were asking like, "Can y'all make music?" So we started making songs, and then we were still getting love like that. Yeah, so exactly. we just kept going with that. Exactly. No, actually, I think that's the thing because my first and only song I got out there uploaded to SoundCloud. Right mm-hmm. now, just me. <laughs> yeah. What all uh, music video channel outlets are you guys on in Minnesota? I think I've seen you guys on. Um, Elite Productions channel. Yeah, yeah and that's pretty there. much. Yeah, yeah. On there. We only we only mess with y'all too. Yeah, and then it's too I mean, much just starting over, becoming yeah. out, you know, getting to know each other. Me personally, you know, yeah, yeah like I, I really don't like meeting like new people like that. But I mean, I'm willing to network. Don't get me wrong. It's just like it's all about your professionalism, yeah. like how you was with me. Like I know artists could sometimes be unprofessional, but it's just like I like the people that always stay professional through everything we try Facts. to do. Like always you know what I mean? Like I always say it's consistency from you. That's why we hit you up. Mm-hmm. We just gonna keep it. We just fuck with people who we know already. That's like yeah. We just gonna um. It's just doing too much. Just starting over. Right. Getting to know each other and everything. And yeah, there's know. nothing wrong with that. A lot of people do that with rela- business relationships. Yeah. You, you work where you're comfortable. Uh-huh. But if if something works, you keep doing it. You right. know what I mean? You don't sometimes if it ain't broke, broke, not fix it. Anymore. Exactly. Same thing. You guys have a project out, like a group project, working on anything, solo project. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. We got we got good projects coming. Man, out. we got some shit coming out called TFG shit. Y'all stay in tune for that. Yeah. Me and Kels actually got a uh, mixtape coming out together called Tracks from Ground Under, so that's like another version of TOG. So the TOG shit, that's a song or a CD? Or probably TFG, just, yeah, TOG shit, a that's a single. It's a yeah. single. And then that song actually helps a lot of, because you know everybody got their own little gang anthem or song anthem or mm-hmm. whatever just to help you know who they is more with a little right. TF song for their whoever they are community or whatever. Right. We just decided to make one as well, so because we never had one. Mm-hmm. But it's a song that actually explains a lot about TFJ, what we stand for, what we do, how we get, how we came up, what stuff we like do. that. You guys sound like you're very mature as far as um, your vision on how you want to work, how you want to be professional, and right. not doing disc records and so on oh, and yeah, so yeah. forth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus, versus people um, in your age bracket are doing that a lot, or, right. or that's all they do, exactly. or, they, or been doing it and for that's years. that's the thing, like, that's why I mess with, that's why we are TFG, because we're unique, we not like, we don't follow the trend, mainly like, we more try to honestly, to this, no I'm not gonna lie, I have to clear this up, but a lot of people is like, biting the C dot flow, the, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The herb flow, the, yeah. the everybody from Chicago. And Tarzan the gun, the flow. Gun oh, now, the like, little babies. The gun little baby you now. never going to hear it sound like nobody, none of them, nobody in Minnesota. Our flow lyrics is all right. different. Perfect. And, honestly, and it's, it's crazy because we all different. We right. all got our own and different flow. It's not like, like I pick up from him and right. he pick up from me. Right. You feel me? We all oh, got our one more thing, too. We is not West Side. Just because y'all see us throw up the dub and we be on the West Side. We grew up over there. We got... Friends and family over there, same as the East. We is not East Side or West Side. That is for one or two TFG dub. That's not for his squad, none of that. We got love for everybody, but that's not what that is, if y'all think that. So people be asking, like, well, y'all, y'all West Side? That's not what that's for, bro. Yeah. That's not what that is. And that's what I mean. Like, I feel like with everybody in my group, all of their songs is different each and every time. Uh, and I let him skip over this. I do got a project coming out, the lingo. That is definitely <laughs> dropping. Mm-hmm. Trust me, that's what I was talking about. I'm dropping and I got a, um, I got an EP, uh, a real nigga story dropping as well. Yeah, facts. Um, um, probably like. And when we say we got a lot of song. projects coming out, like we got, yeah. he got something with him, them two. Mm-hmm. Then we got something, me and Kells, you feel me? And then I got him talking. With me and, and then, Dash definitely got something yeah. cooking. And then we all got our own yeah. shit, so. Facts, so it's even with, project yeah, show. even with me and Lord Dash, me and him got a project called uh, Love the Lord, Sincerely Milo, and that's basically like a project, it's kind of like a real, real different project, you know what I mean? It's more so on the lines of like, Bobby Brown meets like, Travis Scott <laughs> type shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> no, for real, because it's like, it's like some love shit, but it's some trap shit at the same time, and I also got my solo project called uh, Savage Name Milo 2, and that's just like the second story of the first one. That's also available on SoundCloud. From back to what you were saying about when we first started, I also that was one of my first mixtapes I ever had on SoundCloud. I also got us looked at. That did a nice right. amount of views on. Was a real nigga story, so right. I decided to actually do it officially this time. Make it for real. Whoever know me from back then, they obviously gonna rock with it harder. But exactly my EP, that real nigga story, that's where it originated from, though. 
from SoundCloud back in the day, so I'm bringing that back out. And uh, I hope some niggas fuck with it. I know it's gonna be heat though. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I like everything I've heard from you guys so far. I really like the uh, the fly nigga song that I shot. And uh, the how do you do it? Shout out to you getting us on the radio, on the radio too. Shout out in the basement, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. A lot of love, man. That's why we talking about going to anybody else. You crazy? Mm -hmm. That's why I said we gotta get. What thinking about that, man? I, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. That's love. That, that, yeah, I was on the uh, the Juice Radio Show. They gave me like a top ten countdown. I picked y'all song that I shot the uh, the fly nigga, mm -hmm. and um, that shit. Yeah, that shit go hard. It's one of my favorite songs. Y'all got very different sound. Y'all young. Y'all got a lot of shit. Very different. Appreciate it. So when you guys drop your new projects, what promotional outlets do you guys plan on using besides like SoundCloud or even videos for YouTube? Do you guys uh, plan on traveling like yeah. like South by Southwest, A3C? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm going to LA this December. I'm about to go do some networking now. Um, I'm supposed to go link up. I know Minnesota sold uh, free Wi-Fi. I know that PR, my cousin linked up with them, so I'm about to go out there and chop it up with them and see what yes, they're about. Uh, they talking some business with me, but other than that, I just like really just trying to go network while I'm out of California. As of like platforms, like my man DJ Cam Jones, shout out DJ Cam Jones too. Shout out DJ um, Cam Jones. He yeah, actually so. is working with me on uh, producing Saturday Night Milo too, and that's going to be available on Spinrilla. Uh, hopefully we're trying to get it on uh, our Apple iTunes, so that yeah. should be available there. YouTube as well. My uh, mixtape will be on YouTube, so trying to get it available everywhere pretty much. Um, we just had a show too, not too long ago, on the 26th. Uh, we flew some cats out from uh, some Asian cats from uh, Cali, and I'm uh, this one cat named Cooley, self-made Cooley, I believe. Shout out to him. I'm supposed to be doing a uh, feature with him from Boston, Massachusetts. You know, so I'm linking up with bro. Um, I got an open verse for him. I'm just gonna send it to him. Let me know what he think. And we're gonna link it up like that. Right. So far as networking, that's what I'm going to mm -hmm. traveling like that around areas like that. Yeah, really been a lot going on, yeah. basically. I'm but. finna, I'm finna go to Vegas. Uh, shout out my man Triple. His he just dropped some heat. No relation. Mm -hmm. My mom dudes, mm -hmm. you feel me? We finna go down there and try to chop it up with him. He got a nice little studio. See what they got going down in Vegas. Other than yes, that, sir. yeah, that's the next move for me. Me personally, I'm trying. I travel a lot already, but I'm trying to um. I'm trying to get big out here first, so I got my brother, man. That's I got nice. people like Robbo. I got other people. Shout out to Robbo, too. Yeah, shout out Robbo. Shout out Robbo. Robbo, man. We grew up with brothers. That's fam, that's fam. I'm out trying Robbo, to get known man. out here before I get known, before I try and spread out here. Like like he said, mm -hmm. they got a lot more than us. I'm trying to get out here first before right. I get to spread and stuff. Yeah. You're talking about El Robbo, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I, put, I, I haven't met him or shot for him, but I put him on the same countdown. That I put you guys on on the Juice Radio show. Oh, okay. His yep. song, I think it's a song you got with FBG Duck. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He snapped and that's, 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 that's bro. We grew up with bro. Shout out. Home. I just bumped into him a couple days on the streets. Like that's that's my guy. That's bro. We we cool. So do you guys collaborate a lot with other Minnesota, St. Paul, Minneapolis artists? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, honestly, we try to, but I feel like a lot of people is too worried about what the next man worried about. And, you know what I mean? I feel like. I might be cool with somebody from this area, and I do a song with somebody they not cool or, or whoever, then they might get upset. Like, oh, you did a song with him, and I'm not saying literally me, but that's a lot of people problems with that be stopping right. people from even networking. Yeah. So in a way, like, no, nah, but yeah, <laughs> to be honest. Some motherfuckers just be like, oh, they too cool to do a feature, or they too cool to like link up with you. Some artists will, don't get me wrong. Like there is most, a lot of artists in Minnesota that will like really like actually support and help to build Minnesota, but as yeah. a as a like majority of the artists, they all too cool. Like they get caught up in that rapper mentality. Yeah, you know what I mean? Facts, like we try to stay as humble as we can. Like I'm just like I'm the average dude, but I'm not at the same time. But it's just like I feel like we more humble, and that's why I rock with them before I go rock with like somebody else because it's a lot of like difficulty with like them being like, oh yeah, my, I'm I'm better than you, or I think I'm better than you, whatever the case may be. But either way it go, I rather mess with what's in my circle first before I expand. And when so. it comes to TMZ, we are literally like seven people deep. It, it's not a lot. We, what you see here, it's only four of us. We got Sauce, Lord, Rondo, shout out my man. Trezo, shout out Trezo. Shout out Trezo too. Shout out Trezo. You know me? Shout yeah. out Bravo. Bravo. Shout out Bravo. It, we, we 10 strong, that's it. P Probably yeah. like 12. Pilo. 14. <laughs> Kevo. <laughs> Kevo. <laughs> Probably like 12, 14. You feel me? Shout out Kev. Shout out Kev too. Somebody still gonna say you forgot to shout him out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> 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 to be honest, we probably like, no, like, realistically, like 15, 16 deep. 
But the main, realistically, like like them, them like the main homies you actually see us with together, or even individually. But everybody else, they just friends, right. high and buys. For real, we still you know? cool, and that's what I mean. Like we one of them humble people. Like you could come up to us and we'll still talk to you like I talked to one of them. I fuck with Tarzan, Jadam. Shout out to them niggas to too. My brothers too. For real, them niggas doing their thing. That nigga Zan just dropped his little whoop. That's bro. He fucking around. around. So they even fucking around. I was been here. So <laughs> you feel me? Type that's shit. bro. And just like you said, no matter what you're doing, people could talk to you, you know what I mean? And versus yeah. Hollywood or acting like a robot or like you said, yeah. rapper persona. Yeah, that's, personality what I'm that's why the character. niggas we just shouted out was a real nigga. It's a couple of niggas we know, but they would let them views get to their head. You're my yeah, home, you know. Like it's not like them like if them views was your bank account, I feel it. <laughs> so it's yeah, like man, that's, you shouldn't really be doing all that's that. That's why we be telling the ass, y'all favorite rapper out here really bro. Like it, I, to me, one hundred, it be the niggas who really don't get views. I got money. And like you said, uh, you recently did a show. You said you work with uh, DJ Cam Jones. Yeah, shout out Chi Chi the Chino too. Shout out Trilogy and North Stars too. Mm -hmm, shout out Trilogy and North Stars. Shout, shout out Chi Chi Chino. Shout out Gifted. Shout out ECG. Them my boys too. They they the ones who be help. They be doing their thing too with music. Period. But they help uh, open and do shows too, and help with venues and stuff like that. Them my boys too. Shout out them. I got we got tracks with them too. That ain't even out. So mm -hmm. shout out Gifted. <coughs> shout out Gifted as well. That man month. doing his thing. Yeah. Man. How many shows a month do you guys usually do? I mean, I honestly, I've been I kind of been doing like a lot of shows. And we've been doing a lot of open mics too. too as well. Though. Yeah, we've been doing open mics. We've been doing actual shows. We get booked for everything like that. But me, Estimate, uh, uh, like shout out DJ Cam Jones one more time because uh, yeah, two. I linked up with bro. Maybe it was like back in May. I think this was like our second third show already. But uh, I linked up with bro. Basically, we performed, and ever since he's seen the energy, he's seen like the potential everybody has. So he was rocking with us, basically. So like, we definitely uh, tee up the shows. So. Yeah, we definitely when we when we perform, like, <coughs> I'm not trying to like sound cocky, but the energy that we give off, we get back. Basically, that's all I'm gonna say. But other than that, like our show would be pretty cool. But we just did this one show back in May. Uh, we had we flew out, bro from Cali. My shout out MB Nail too. That's my boy. He's from uh, Stockton, California. He got a couple of views. Yeah. They got a couple of videos. He does, they got yeah, a, he like, does, he a hit, views. Yeah, he hit a couple of M's on, on a couple of songs, bro. But we songs. opened up for him. Yeah. And that show was pretty turned, bro. And then, yeah, after that, I had this other show. Like, pretty, I'll pretty much uh, say. I think his name is Lil Yella. Right, Lil Yella. Shout Yella. out Lil Yella. Shout out Lil Yella, Yella too. Know, Baton Rouge. Rouge. He's from Baton Rouge. We opened up for him as well. Yeah, we too. opened up for him. But yeah, I'll probably say like on average maybe at least like two, three shows a month. And like you said, you um you receive the energy you give. I believe you. I've never had the privilege of seeing you guys live in a concert or anything. But but I have shot your music videos and I see the energy you guys give in right. videos and it's really good. So I can imagine how the shows go. I mean, I'm busy. I can't be everywhere at once. Right. Right. But I would like sure, to be there. Sure slide, just, like, just like you said, I put you on the radio mix and all that. You know, I try to do what I can. And for anybody that doesn't know, DJ Cam Jones. Is a uh, well-known DJ. He's on a mixtape circuit as well, but he's really a club DJ. Like he kills that shit. Um, yes, does good. events every week, like maybe three, four a week, and um, open mics and events with show mm -hmm. custom flyers. Like you said, your book for and whatnot. He's hosted one of my mixtapes and uh, put me on a couple shows. Definitely somebody to work with. Yeah, most definitely. So, what one of the projects or the solo or group that you guys are working on is? Do you plan on dropping it before New Year's? Because we're in November I mean, right now. That's the last quarter. That's what are you I'm working saying. on for 2019? If you guys. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I might uh, surprise y'all though. I don't know. What I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Be prepared for the uh, a real nigga story EP. <laughs> I ain't even playing on nobody, kids. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna drop I mean, that for sure before 2019. But this mixtape. It is coming soon, but I feel like we want to make it more, as much as like official as possible. How many tracks gonna be on it? Well, we got like ten, twelve. No, I think we got like thirteen in total. Cause we we think about adding some bonus tracks, but bonus we're not tracks we're not sure yet. Cause we have that much music. It's a lot. Of, Cause we gonna throw a couple songs that y'all know. Twenty eighteen songs that we drop, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. And then uh, definitely it's gonna be a, it's gonna be. A, yeah, it's gonna be a, a definitely like a couple tracks that. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I'm that. dropping Savage Name Milo too on my birthday, which yeah. is uh, you gotta find out. If you know, <laughs> don't, if, don't even if say you know what you know when, when <laughs> our birthday is. <laughs> Lingo projected to hit y'all before this year, right. so I can say this. I got it's a new year, some new shit coming. Kenny G got a track dropping too. As Kenny well. G got a whole EP coming for y'all last. I don't know, man. Struggle know. up. I don't know. Y'all know how I'm coming, man. Started from the bottom. Shit, baby. Yeah. What's one one two for anybody that doesn't know? You say that in a lot of songs. So yeah, so uh, like I, I'm a, I'm a really like I'm gonna add this in there, but I'm gonna sum it up why I, why I said. So like I said, we all was from St. Paul and Minneapolis, pretty much. We weren't doing shit in school, so all our parents randomly as black moms thought 
bring their ass to the suburbs. Right. <laughs> and we randomly all from the hood, linked in the suburbs, still in the hood, doing suburb shit. But yeah. in the hood, like, we turned it to the hood, you feel me? Right. Like, Didn't help at all, because we all hood kids, so we damn, okay. I know, we used to be. And I don't know where it got on some hood shit. Um, mm -hmm. Miles View, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what are they, zip code? 55112. Five, 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 mm -hmm. You know, and... 2012. 2012 is when we started doing bad shit. Stealing yeah. cars, getting locked up, robbing people with fake guns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> doing doing stupid shit. Yeah, man, yeah. 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 We're doing burglary, home invasion. Hey, no. I can talk about it now. We did the time already. Right. <laughs> 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 I can talk about it now. That shit. Oh, but, oh God, man. This That's is facts. Like, so, and this yeah, really I, ain't I, no, I told you before really the interview, no. you don't have to say no, you don't want to say no. We ain't got shit to hide. We ain't got nothing to be scared of. Nah, I'm going to tell you. You got to be real. With yourself. This for real. If so, you ain't real with yourself, who gonna be real with you? And uh, that's how that whole one one two shit came about. Though you know, we all linked up and got where we at now mm -hmm. from the one one two area. So right. I'm like, man, hey, that's some one one two shit. You know, mm -hmm. from where we at now, recording on phones and doing shows, not taxi for features. That's and that's what I mean. Like we dope. really have that bond just because of everything we like went through. We went so, through. We and then I'm glad you just said that because shout out. Kenny G, man, my man. Yeah, sure. real Kenny G, G for real, man. Guy, guy, you know, my man got hit up five times over some bullshit, mm -hmm. you feel me? But he's still here with us, you feel right. me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I'm naming my EP Struggle Up. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fact. That's so, just crazy. Because yeah. it's like, it's we from here. here, you know what I mean? Like, we show to stay love, but it's just like, we go through a lot of shit, and that's why we don't really rock with a lot of people, just because it's like what we've been through. And motherfuckers, so, they, they, they think that we... We, you know what I'm saying? We are. Motherfuckers think we, like, not even soft, but motherfuckers take us like we, they could, they could bully or even press us because we, look how cool and nonchalant we are. Right. Yeah. But I just tell them, like, try. Like, everybody, it. like, gotta <laughs> be like, everybody gotta be like, <laughs> oh, I'm GD, I'm photo, like, I'm, like, everybody, them rah rah ass niggas, like, them uh, animated, animated. Ass animated. Niggas. And we're not like that. We literally well still with the shits, but. We, who got to put on that act for what? It ain't, that, it ain't, it ain't time to go yet. You know what I'm saying? Right, so we don't have to do that. So people don't see us doing that. So they think that we sweet. No. <laughs> so for anybody out there in the world that doesn't know, you say hit up five times. Or Kenny, Kenny G, you say he got, you got shot five can, times. Let's just show real quick. Show real quick. Got, he still got some shells in him. If, if you want to let, the, to let the world know. I got a, a 22 right here, you feel me? Three different guns, you hear me? And I got a 357 Magnum right here. I got another 22 somewhere over here and somewhere over here. Oh TMZ shit, this shit for real. Like, don't. I ain't. My, my name ain't become Kenny G for no reason. For no reason. So the incident that led to that, would you like to talk about that at all? Motherfuckers broke. That's all it really was. You feel me? I had. I just motherfuckers just had got their little last wolf from their job or whatever. I had to leave their ass, so I had to get my last job, my last last check or whatever. I went to go grab me a pack. Motherfucker, some I'm shorty, sweet. some shorty hit me up. She hit me up, talk about she she needs some loud. I'm like, yeah, she need a half. I'm like, they all in dubs, you feel me? She bag them up. I'm all right, bet. She hit me up, talking about she was outside. I sent her address down the street somewhere. She, I'm like, walk outside. I look down the street. I'm texting her. While I'm texting her, telling her she ain't out there. She like, I'm in a blue car. Some dudes walking down the street. They like, hey, bro, you got some weed? Um, mind you, my auntie house, the way it was, it's like 10 flights of stairs, and then you got to walk. A little bit just to get to the dope, oh, and then yeah. you gotta walk up three more stairs to get to the oh, dope. So I'm standing at the top of the tent. They walking up. They you got some weed on me? Yeah. I walk in the crib. Actually, I jog in the crib. You feel me? I see them come sit on the steps right by the door as I'm weighing up their weed. I'm already thinking some weird shit. I took my weed, my money, put all that shit behind my auntie TV. As soon as I walked outside, closed the door a little bit, walked down the steps. They both up them. Dude with the 22 is behind the dude with the 357. Looking at both they dumbass, like, what y'all mean? I ain't got shit on me but a point A. <laughs> a point A, you feel me? So I'm thinking, I'm, these niggas gonna blow me anyway. They ain't got no mask on, those rookie ass mistake. Right. So I smacked the first gun, the 357 Magnum. I smacked <laughs> that bitch. Instantly ran in the crib. As I was running in the crib, the dude behind him with the deuce deuce, he got the blaming that motherfucker. Boom, 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 boom. And then the other dude must have came back up with that bitch. All I heard was a bah. And then I heard a ch, -ch. And I instantly got in the crib. She, I'm like, I think I'm hit, Auntie. She like, sit your ass down. Um, take a step. I ain't know I was shot through my leg. I fall. As soon as I fall on my back, all I seen was bright lights. And that was her kitchen light that was up there. All I seen was that light. I couldn't even see, like, like 
like what is it? The shadows of people like over yeah. silhouettes and shit. So I'm damn. I'm talking to him. I'm this shit. Not real. I'm throwing up a whole bunch of blood and shit. They told me that the uh, there was no blood coming out my back until I got in the ambulance. And then once I got in the ambulance, and blood started coming out. That's when I fainted. I was. They said I passed away. They brought me back to life. I passed away for seven minutes. And that's crazy because seven is my favorite number, as you can see on my 2K player. That shit crazy. <laughs> I was gone for seven minutes, and they brought me back to life, whatever them things it's called. They brought me back. They got a heartbeat, and then that's when they got to going in on surgeries. I was in a coma for about two days. I woke up, and everything was not real. I got to see my niggas. I got to see my mom. Yeah, you already know. You already know. This shit was not real, but I'm here. I was out the hospital seven six days after that then i had to go back to the hospital two days after i was out because i was in the hospital i was in a hotel with my mom because she from vegas she in vegas she took a flight down here as soon as she heard about it we at the hotel a whole bunch of fluid got in my lungs and i woke up couldn't breathe like that i'm i'm fighting for my life then i'm in the hospital i went to the hospital yeah i'm in the waiting room for a whole hour then they're dying they take me in, and then once they take me in and see that I have all that fluid in my lung, then that's when they want to get me in the emergency room, all this other extra shit. But I went through four surgeries throughout the whole time. They want me to go through more to try to get these motherfuckers out, but shit, I'm still doing what I'm doing, so I'm not worried about it. They ain't hurting me, so they ain't going nowhere. They're going to be in me until they come out, they damn self. Right. I, ain't got, I ain't got time to be crippled on mold. Like, that shit dead. I went through that. Man, I'm... Yeah, yeah, shout yeah. out for my nigga Jay Down. He just got hit up two times. Damn, they're the same shit as me, bro. Got his ass stapled up and some more. Shout out my nigga, man. Shout out, bro. You doing this thing? Very lucky to be here. Most definitely. The situation has something to do with like a female on some bogus shit. Yeah, but it wasn't even the female. It was it was the dude. Oh, it was her boyfriend. He was on her page because I guess he got blocked off his page or something. Well, it was that bitch. And, and, was, it was jeal that jealousy, bitch. basically. <laughs> some, you, know, you say you're only 20? I'm 21. 21. How old were you when this happened? I was 19. Very young. Were you bigger at the time? Frozen. Man, Frozen. see, that's yeah. why, that's why in my, oh my God, I said, uh. He was buffing still buffing bro, bro, I, I forgot him. what I said in this shit, but I said, man. I got hit up five times, but ain't going. I got hit up five times, but ain't going. Remember, posted on, remember, blocks, posted on blocks, I was swollen, right. putting fear into all of these hoes, man. I'm not playing. That's when, facts. when it came to Mouse You, motherfuckers knew how I was coming. If they did, they was getting their ass beat the fuck up. Man, and that's how I'm coming. I'm here to just walk up and beat people up for no reason, like. I don't know. Punch your motherfuckers, man. Then they can slide the edges. But I mean, just cause I'm just cause I'm a little bit smaller don't mean that these bitches still ain't coming. They actually ten times faster and they hurt more. The fuck is talking about? Now all you guys are rolling up weed right now. <laughs> so, so speaking of drugs, what is your take on all the drug uses right now? Especially with music artists in your age range, your guys, you know, late teens, early twenties. Everybody's on lean, Xanax. Percocets, Molly, uppers, downers, yeah, downers. cocaine. <laughs> White, uh, y'all um, sugar. I don't, I only smoke weed. I don't do none of that shit. Uh, if you hear me rapping about it, it's because I used to do it, and I already know the effects of how it, what it made me do with the withdrawals and the setbacks on money and all that. That's why I can rap about it because I've been there, and done that. I don't do it presently. My niggas around me, certain of them still do, so I can also still talk about it. You feel me? But we don't do none of that goofy shit, you feel me? Just we. I'm not gonna lie, like, if it, if anything, lately, I've been off yappas and shit. Like, them bitches, my take on them, honestly, don't, it's not like a casual thing you should do all the time. But, like, every now and again, like, probably like once every couple weeks. If you trying to get you some coochie. Right. That's, <laughs> that's what it's about. If you trying to get you some coochie. coochie or a show. He, if, or you trying to get teed up for a show. Because the show, blood and them be. Right. I'll be hey, teed. They be lit. I'll yeah. be teed. Y'all was. I don't fuck with none of that shit. Right. All that shit is. I don't excellent. gotta fit in. I'm growing. I learn how to say no. Right. I don't gotta look cool. I don't gotta fit in. A lot of artists do stuff just because they do it just yeah, because everybody else me. is doing right. it because you don't have to do that. they think they're supposed to. A lot of artists are out here overdosing, you know what I mean? Uh, exactly. Even, yeah, even recently, Mac limits. Miller. I don't got to fit in or nothing, man, bro. I'm, that ain't me. Mm -hmm. I know what's me, and that's why. Yeah. And I used to do the shit, but that's why I can talk about it. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Be mm -hmm. Have a deep conversation. That's one of them things what it's for.
a mind expander in my eyes. But I ain't never took no yacht. Yeah, yeah. Okay. don't. <laughs> Real talk, um. Y'all busy ain't for everybody. everybody to each his own, man. <laughs> but at the same time, um, to the overdose and all that, like you were saying, that's you don't gotta do that shit to fit in. That's hell yeah. That's why I don't like. like <clears throat> that's lame as hell. Know, people be like <coughs> lace and shit. To you know what I mean? Like RP Lil Peep. <laughs> Like, he got laced with fentanyl on his Xanax. That's why I stopped fucking <coughs> with Xanax, to be honest. And a lot of people's stuff is fake, too. Right. Like, uh... The pill press. Everything you know is made up, like, man-made, super man-made right now. A lot of the right. fake lean, fake Xan. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to... If you're going to do something, try to get the real deal. If you can't get the real deal, don't do it at all. Like, right. don't do it to fit in. And then, like you said, there's overdoses like Little Peep, more recently Mac Miller. Right. Yep. Um... It's, it's just not a good thing for younger artists, too, to, to do it to try to fit in. Fredo, um... I didn't really get a lot of information on him, but I know I know he had health problems anyway too. He had like a lot of surgeries with his with his kidneys and the lean. Yep, and it is bad for your kidneys and your liver. Any any drugs lean is a comes out of your system. Heroin. So you want to be known for doing heroin? I had the withdrawals too, and the bitches. That shit make you think you a crackhead. It is a fucking bitch. And in the music culture, you know, lean is a is a Texas thing. They they were doing that back in the early nineties yeah. and early two thousand. You know, and it's all the, it's all the way almost twenty years later. It's twenty eighteen, almost twenty twenty. You know, and then people are just now still overdosing, doing it a lot, mm -hmm. thinking it's cool now. And a lot of younger artists don't even know they may not know the history. Fact. Everybody want to be like their favorite. Everybody want to be like everybody. Just be yourself. No, and honestly, with us or even like doing some type of drugs anyway, it was just the lifestyle. That's how we live. We've been lived like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, drugs wasn't nothing new to us because we all done seen it. We all know what the fuck it is. So it's just like yeah, shit. Everybody grown, like you like, but like we said, yeah, everybody grown. So. If you do your drug, know what you're doing. That's all we ask. But other yeah. than that, we stay out the way. It's not like everything. And do it for a reason. Mm -hmm. Don't just be doing it just to oh, be yeah. doing it. You need to have a reason to be doing it. That's where a lot of like, people get fucked up, too. They do this shit when every I, day. When I first started bored. smoking, you know, my mom and them, of course, was hot. But my dad told them, this is facts. Shout out Pops. I love my Pops. Shout out OG, too. I love your mom. But shout out my mm -hmm. like show. Pops, you know, he kept on a buck with it, like... He got a job now, and it's not like he out here asking you for money and going to go buy weed instead of not eating. That's something you need to be worried about. Or is he gay? That's something you need to be worried about. That's, that's Pops keeping a bug with you. He said he got his own money. I was working at McDonald's 16 at the time. I'm making two, three hundred dollars. I don't spend my money on weed. I, I, I hustle hard for it, and that's what I want to buy. You can't be mad at me for that. Right. And he kept it a bug with you. You know what I'm saying? So, and then he asked her, well, "What was you smoking?" She was smoking at like twelve or something. So, don't be a hypocrite. You know how that goes. So, you know, after a while, they got over it. You know, I don't, they know I ain't no fiend with the shit. Weed is not bigger than me. So. That's what most people, we ain't most people do that too. Not bigger than me. So people, after they realize that I know that I can take care of myself and still manage and let them know that it ain't bigger than me, they don't care. That's how that go. Whatever you do, make sure you can manage it. Don't let no drug be big in you, bro. That shit, that's right. all I know. Most definitely.